back so soon. Um, this time around, just a quickie, I want to show you uh, something here. In the same slide that I prepared earlier, yesterday, rather, um, I was panning around and I got to wondering, you know, I've had this uh, slide set up for the long term. What you do is you take the cover glass and very gently on the extreme edge, you paint a thin line of uh, lard in this case or Vaseline or whatever, um, some sort of thick uh, gooey material like that. Um, around the entire edge of the cover glass. Then in the center of the slide you put a single drop of your specimen and then you very gently drop the cover glass over it and if you've done it right it'll seal the entire drop and uh, it's good for days worth of observing and in fact it's chugging along merrily no problems yet. It's going on uh, 24 hours worth of observation now. Anyway, take a close look and you'll see I have um, located a large group of the fast-moving uh, bacilli bacteria. I'm going to assume they're bacilli because they look pretty much arrow straight. I haven't really seen any that look curly cued like Sprillum, uh, unfortunately, because I dearly love those. and. Uh, haven't been able to find them. They swim with a kind of a uh, spiral motion, a loose spiral, but that's to be expected. I mean, look at the shape and swimming fashion of most protozoans. Um, they're round or oval, and yet they spin in a corkscrew fashion. It's the nature of the way the cilia move. In this case, uh, these bacteria, no doubt, have cilia at their tail end, and they whip them, maybe one or more flagellates, uh, whip them in a uh, fashion that creates a spiral motion through the water. Anyway, uh, yeah, very interesting. You can see to the right side of the view, um, there's the lard boundary that seals the water into the cover glass and uh, slide. And uh, my guess is the reason there are so many to this edge is probably because they find that lard to be somewhat tasty. Um, so they're eating it, basically. That's fine with me. I don't care. I don't want them all to die of starvation. This is a long-term uh, project here, experiment. So, yeah, there you go. Let me pan around a little for your entertainment. You see, under the microscope, at extreme power like this, the uh, the line of lard is very irregular. It's like looking at the Grand Canyon from the side. If you you know, if you've ever looked at the Grand Canyon from the side. Um, <laughs> anyway, and there's quite a lot of them cruising that whole edge. I really think it's got something to do with food. Now, you'll notice um, they're close to the center, just right of center. There's one that's stuck. There were two stuck there for a second. They get hung up sometimes, and that's when you have your prime moment to observe their shape. And there he is, standing out in white a little bit, altered the focus to hair, and you can see it's a clearly straight looking rod-shaped organism. Maybe a little kink in there, but not much. They're all along the edge of that. Quite a lot of them out toward the middle of the slide where the big uh, colonies are of these non-moving bacteria. There are very few of these. They're all hanging towards the edges. And there are a lot of them, actually. If you were to do a population count, I think you'd be quite impressed. Change the focus a little bit there again. 
Mm. It's hard to get them into focus because they move so quickly. And, uh, and of course, they're using the full depth of the fluid on the slide. So you can't really... You can't really ever get them to hold still, even when they get stuck loose. My cat knocking my shit around. Even when they uh, get stuck, they still they still really tend to flick around a lot, and it's hard to get a good look. Fascinating. Anyway, there you go. It's uh, fast-moving bacteria in action. And they are fast, too. Jeez. Anyway, okay. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you next time.